say twinsies 40 and we are going to be doing a backpacking tutorial and so i just have purchased this nice tree house it was 10 it was i mean not 10 hundred like that's like a humongous number i think that's like a thousand or something <laughs> um yeah it is a thousand why am i um, being so crazy okay um so now we are so i just purchased this nice tree house ten thousand five hundred um and so as you know we're in backpacking of course and um so my assistant has this nice starter tent this is what you will have in your inventory right away so if you're on a computer just push the f button to open doors um, I'm gonna take my this out um, away from my thing so that it's like not so bright. And then this is the starter tent. It's pretty small, but the tree house is humongous. You might want to save up for the tree house or a bigger tent like one of mine. I have a few that are pretty cool. Um, so I have this nice, um, this one, this is pretty cheap. Um, I'm just going to go into a more shady place so that it doesn't make my screen so bright. Okay, I'm going to go into the store and then show you, like, the amount of all of them. So, I just got my reward for the daytime. And then, the my favorite one is the basic tent. Well, it's not really my favorite one. But the cheapest one that you can get is the basic tent. This is 150 marshmallows. And then, my favorite one is the bell tent the bell tent is the cutest one it is pink and yellow blue it is colors for girls boys everyone really and then we have the medieval medieval something something um tent blue i don't know what it says but uh it's like a circus tent i guess you could say but it's tiny Okay, and then my, comes my second to favorite, the regular tent. It is 800 marshmallows. Oh, and the um, other one that I can't pronounce is 400. And then my friend, my faithful friend, Twinsies 40's favorite one is the multi-tent. The multi-tent is 950 marshmallows. And then another one is the igloo tent. The igloo tent is good for cold days, and it is 1,200 marshmallows. Then one of my favorites, probably my third favorite, is the castle tent. The castle tent is 1,600 marshmallows. It has two floors, but the second floor is, like, super open. It doesn't have a roof or anything. And then the last one and then the um like least expensive like fancy one is the palace tent it has three rooms and it is 2200 marshmallows and then the really expensive one is the log cabin it is 5700 marshmallows and then the last one is the tree house it is well you know because i already reviewed that okay so twinsies 40 are you still in game Yes, I just had to pick up my tent because I didn't want it being in the middle so we could place this stuff outside. So. Oh, yes, that's um, a good idea. Yeah. Okay, so um, you will want in the store, to, in the gear section, to get some bear spray. It is $200, so whenever bears get near you, you can just spray them with it. And then a fun item that you can get is the marshmallow stick. It is only 50 marshmallows. Um, and of course I have both those items. This is my bear spray. And then in just a minute, I'll show you my, um, 
What is it called again? Oh, right, yeah, marshmallow stick. Okay, so now I have out my marshmallow stick, and this is very useful for when you're, like, hungry, I guess you could say, even though you're never hungry, really, in the game. Um, I'm just going to put two of my favorite items into my inventory, and these are my personal favorite items. They are the campfire, the um, log that you can sit on, and the marshmallow stick. So I'm just placing my fire somewhere. Um, I guess I'll just put it right there. Um, let's see if this is facing the right way. I hope this is facing the right way. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not facing the right way. I hate when this happens. Okay, um, I just gotta put it on the other side. No worries, no worries. Okay, um, now we'll sit down and take out my marshmallow stick. Woohoo, woohoo. Oh gosh, there's a tornado right there. Wow, but it's like super far away from me. So it won't suck me up. Good. Um, and of course bears can, like, you know, and tornadoes can suck you up and throw you out of the map. So, I am just going to do a quick tour with you of the map. So, the tour will begin. So, welcome back to backpacking tutorial number one. And so, we're on the map right now, and we have our map key um and there's a little icon for a car spawn there is a icon for the fishing spot and a icon for your campsite and then your position is of course the little um obvious mark <laughs> that you would see on like gps's or something um and so i'm just going to do a quick tour guide on the map twinsies 40 um will you like maybe like set up a little campfire for us oh you already did oh my gosh that is like wow so um 20 is 40 if you'll sit with me okay thank you so let's talk about the map right now so first i want to explain the map and do a little tour on the map and then i will give you a quiz on the map so um the first area that i want to discuss is where we are right now so this is the lodge right here, and if you just go a little far to the right on, turning right on the road, of course, um, you'll find where we are in this nice big open space. Um, and as you can see outside the window, we're in that nice big open space near the lake that is near us. So the lake is right there. It has a little nice island that people like to camp on. They just swim over there and just like relax on the island which is kind of lazy but like it's what everybody does so um if you just go straight well you have to do a little bit of a turn but if you just go straight you'll come to a waterfall and there is a little tunnel next to the waterfall you feed up okay and then you, like you get to the peak somehow i don't know how but you do <laughs> And then the peaks are up here, of course, and a road at the peaks leads to the spa. Um, the spa is very nice to go to, but there is a bunch of bears there, so you might want to watch out for that. And the park is right next to the spa. And then there's some mountains over here, and then a village. And if you go over here, there is Azatak Falls or something, whatever it is. And then if you come over here, there's more waterfalls, and then there's some canyons, and of course, the rivers, and then there is my favorite place, the volcano, and then the lakes. So, as you can see, there's a little gray spot right here, and this is like a balcony on the volcano that I like to camp at. Of course, bears can't get up there, so like, that is like, so nice. Oh, and I almost forgot the bear place is the Colosseum. So I would recommend not to go to the Colosseum, but you can if you want to. So, Twinsy, oh, where did you go, Twinsies 40? I'm coming. Okay, well, it is time for the quiz. So once you are seated, okay, you're seated, we will start the quiz. Okay, so Twinsies 40, we've reviewed the map dozens of times now, and I think it is time for your quiz. So this quiz is starting now. So where are the lakes? 
are they south of the volcano or north of the volcano or north east south west which one um i think it's um north yes it is partially north partially um west yeah um it's like in the middle i would say northwest or west north or i think it's i was gonna say i just didn't know that was an option yeah well it technically is okay so at which point of the map is the Colosseum? Is it in the top left corner, the bottom left corner, the top right corner, or the bottom right corner? Top left. Good. Okay. So then, where is the canyons? Is it set in like the middle near the volcano? Is it near the spa in the park? Or is it near the Colosseum? It is near the volcano. Good. Okay, well, that's the end of this nice quiz on our tour guide. I don't know why this is, like, so related to, like, quizzes in real life. But it's what we're doing. Okay, so this was nice seeing you guys. And I loved just giving this nice tutorial for you guys so that you know, like, how to play the game and how to place... Oh, I forgot to tell you how to place furniture. Well, let's show you right now. So, to place furniture, you just go into your inventory and you get whatever you want. Like, I just took out a carpet um, and you just, like, tap where you want it as long as it's in the green space. Like that. Except that's like blocking the ladder, so I'm just going to pick that up. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and I hope you watch more R Plus Roblox Sequels Fun videos. And I hope you enjoyed this, so make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!